Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your second week of December reading. Start from the 8th through the 14th of December 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time, which has already started. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading. I will be pulling out message cards as well from your person. Uh, but yes, no charms will be added. So yeah, but stay tuned. And uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So let's find out what is heading towards the stage variance for this week time. Let's begin. What's going on for you guys? Let's see. Wow, Nine of Pentacles, The Hangman, Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords. Wow. I do see that, you know, whatever that was on hold, whatever that was on, uh, wasn't moving in your life will start moving this week time. Uh, the weight, the, the stagnation is over uh, this week. And I feel like, you know, it, it all stems from you uh, doing your thing, not focusing pretty much a lot on any one area of your life. I feel like, you know, your life is uh, uh, more about staying happy. Your life is more about, you know, doing the things that makes you feel good. Ignoring, letting go of anything which makes you feel like, you know, this area of my life is not uh, moving forward. This is not happy. You're too focused on the things that are making you happy. You're too focused on the things that's uh, adding more to your uh, emotional fulfillment. Like, you know, um, if, if I, you know, even sitting right now, if I tell you to think about uh, what, what was that one thing that made you smile today, you're going to think of one thought and then it's going to take you to another one which made you even think, you know, um, laugh even harder. Then if I tell you to um, think about one thing that you would like to fix in your life, you would have a lot of, you know, things that you would want to fix in your life. Then you would start thinking there is one area of my life, uh, you know, I want to fix. Maybe I want to buy a house. I couldn't buy the house as of now. Um, maybe I want to fix my connection with a colleague at work. Maybe I want to have a specific someone in my life. Then you're going to have all the things which you are lacking right now in your life. But the good news here is... You are too focused on the things that made you good, made you feel good, made you happy, made you feel felt. You are too focused on those things that wherever that was not working well for you, wherever that was stagged and stuck, you are not even thinking about those things. And that's how you trigger them to move, uh, to start moving on. And I feel like, you know, it's, uh, it's going to come as a surprise to you, whatever it is that uh, you have kind of, you know, let go of. Not consciously, it's more of an unconscious thing. I feel like you know, it's more of a, you just decided, okay, fine, let things happen on the on the divine time. I don't want to think about the things. And then you did the things that, uh, you know, um, maybe the routine life thing. Then, uh, But yeah, I don't see you um, thinking a lot at all. Like you know, it's more of uh, the week where you are going to stay busy doing the things that you like, planning your life um, to the point where you, where you keep some room for... Um, um open for for yourself to enjoy that achievement day, from day to day life like you know it's not going to be something like you know when when you go uh, when you put a goal list for yourself for a week time and if something doesn't come it doesn't bother you much that's how you should make a goal list if it doesn't happen this week time it's okay it will happen the next week time so that's going to be the attitude that you are having right now which is why you are unblocking all the blocks that you might have created earlier in your life and that's the reason why i feel like you know all that stagnation is getting away from your life. And um, for some of you, I feel like you know, it's, it's more like a reward to you from, um, I don't know, if, if you lost somebody recently, um, you might have done a lot for that one person. And whatever that is happening in your life it's it's a blessing for, for from them to you it's more like you know maybe they prayed for you um they are watching over you um there is somebody in your life uh who could be praying for you right now and if that person is still in your life i feel like you know that person could be on their deathbed bed right now um or somebody very old, I would say. You know, this person is not somebody, you know, young. I don't see that. It's a person energy who's uh, old, um, might be sick or might have already passed away. Um, but yes, there is something that you did good to that one person 
it doesn't have to be like you know on it you know face to face maybe you you sent some charity online and that person needed it the most that time and you have no idea so that person is going to you might see somebody very old in your dream as well for some of you and you you won't be able to recognize that person but yes that person came to you to thank you for what you did to them for them so um if there are still you know blocks in your life right now i would suggest you to um give charity to anybody who is uh, old um donate something to them um um i don't know which country which area you live in uh if they are old age homes there you could visit them just spend some time with the old people they love doing that like you know they love having somebody over to talk to them so you could just do that be there be there for them for some time just talk to them for a few minutes maybe that too is going to be like a um maybe the best thing that you could give them them right now so just do something like that during this week time trust me it's going to add a lot of uh, happiness to you right now and uh, in whatever area you need that blessing it will come through from that person so i'm i'm kind of getting emotional here i don't know who this person is going to be um but yes <clears throat> So whoever this person is, if you could help somebody like that, uh, maybe your grandparents, maybe, you know, if you haven't visited them for quite some time, maybe you could visit them. If uh, if, if not, just, just any any person who, is, uh, who needs that love from uh, from someone. Maybe maybe they are, you know, not, um, maybe they don't have of any of uh, their family members with them. So just, just bring a smile on that person's face and trust me, the, the prayer that they're going to have for you, uh, they're going to bless you with the blessings that you cannot even think of right now. So just try doing that if you could. And now, um, yep, uh, let's see more cards here. Seven of Cups. Underneath the deck and underneath that, we do have Four of uh, Pentacles. Underneath that, Nine of Wands. Underneath that, King of Wands. <clears throat> I feel like, you know, the, the people who are suffering right now still, I feel like, you know, that's the energy of majority of you. Either you have done something good for someone, that's why you are not feeling this way. Because I feel like, you know, with these cards here is totally a different energy of different Sagittarians here. And all you need to do is this, if you could, then it's just gonna speed up everything, uh, you know, else as well for you in your life. But the cards here, Seven of, Pen uh, seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and then e uh, King of Wands and Two of Swords. I feel like, you know, this is... Uh, this is the energy of the either the person that you are dealing with or if not then this is the you know this is the energy of other group of uh, Sagittarians because I feel like you know um you you might be still feeling stuck in your life right now and you you don't have any clarity to move forward because maybe you are blocking your own happiness your own abundance by being a certain way by being um you know having lack of clarity by being having uh um having too much focus on when is it going to happen why this is not happening why this is not moving forward why this is a certain way and that's basically blocking you instead of doing all those things do the things that making you feel like you know your life is finally moving ahead at least something is moving forward at least something is going in the right direction your focus should be on those things and that's how you unblock the blocks of your life if you are still struggling juggling Either you do this, what I said, or if not, then you, you really have to understand that um, you really have to stop asking questions like that. When, how, this and that, because it's just a block for you. And plus, you can also give the charity donation or you can spend some time with the, with the person who is old as well. Um, let's see more cards here from this deck. I feel like you know, it's going to be the time when you you are giving your passion, your excitement to yourself. You you don't want, um, again, it's like, you know, for some of you, you really have to work towards these things that I'm mentioning here. For these group of people who can resonate with this energy here, I feel like, you know, you have already worked towards that. And there are no blocks. You, you feel like everything is going in the right direction and you are on the right path to receive what you have been waiting on for. 
and um, whoever left you in the past whoever you have been with it was like a blessing because if it didn't happen that way you wouldn't be getting what you're getting right now so it's like you know that kind of attitude is what i'm picking up whatever you has happened you're not too focused on that at all you know that something beautiful is happening you know something good is coming you know all these things because you have to focus on the goodness you have to focus on the happiness uh which is why you are having all that you want in your life this week time i feel like you know you will be tapping into abundance this week time as well let's see the oracle cards now let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys for this week time <clears throat> relationship patterns uh it takes strength to recognize the need for change i feel like you, know, you really have to understand that for some of you uh, this group of people have already understood that and that's how they changed themselves towards, you know, different areas of their life and they became the better version of themselves, which is why they are having, attracting all the abundance. Now, for those of you who are still struggling, you really have to understand the pattern of your relationships. Have you been ending a relationship uh, and then tapping into, you know, jumping into another one? Have you been uh, thinking that you don't deserve something better? Have you been having negative thoughts around love and relationships? Have you been too focused on uh, when will I meet that one person? Have you been completely out of alignment with what you want? Just try to understand those, uh, try to understand and ask those questions to yourself so you could understand what pattern you really need to let go of, what thought pattern, what relationship pattern that you need to go uh, let go of so you could attract a new pattern for yourself so you could attract the abundant love life in your life as well so just try to understand that everybody is a different individual everybody treats love relationships a different way everybody has a different perspective try to understand yours and try to understand if that's a you know um good per perspective to have or is it aligned with what you want or is it taking you away from it just try to figure that out for yourself this week time a tough cycle, um, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So I feel like, you know, for majority of you, the good, goodness is coming ahead for you. Uh, but for very few of you who are still struggling, I feel like, you know, it's going to be the time when you have to basically understand a few things and that's how you will be able to break free from the mental, emotional and physical blocks in your life. Let's see one card from this deck. Mirror guardian, take time to reflect. Yes, it's time for you to reflect on your thought patterns, relationship patterns, everything. Because that's how you are going to be guided towards the right path. Um, for some of you, mirror. have you ever tried the mirror meditation? That too is going to be helpful for you as well in this time. Let's take one more card from this deck and then we're going to take the message cards. And plus, um, see yourself having the life that you desire always it's, it's going to attract you all of that angel therapy give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens and that is something that you can do in meditation that is something that you can do with having a faith firm belief around everything happens for a good cause for you and the universe and angels are taking care of you and your decisions and whatever that is happening in your life so you have nothing to worry about you have nothing to get concerned about you have to have a firm belief that everything is happening for your better uh uh you know purpose so yes let's see these cards now let's see what these has to add to the week for the sagittarians okay let's see what it says do you love me the way i love you i feel like you know that's a message from the universe to you do you love yourself the way you you know the universe loves you um i feel like in you know, it's high time the universe is asking you to love yourself so you could attract that kind of love to yourself if you don't love yourself the way you want the other person to love you that person won't love you because you have to love yourself the way you want to be loved can you forgive me for some of you um maybe this is a message from a person from the past as well maybe there is a someone who who might be returning to you um that will be for a very few of you because i don't see you jumping into any relationship right now um not this week time at least maybe there is a person in your life who who would want to come forward to you be that somebody from the past be that somebody new maybe they would be considering you their energies have already entered in your life i can pick them uh, their energy but they are not showing in these energies here so it's just a message coming from them uh you you know for some of you you might start seeing them in your dreams 
um, asking you or trying to tell to you or ask you, uh, do you love me still or you know stuff like that. Maybe you are going to see them, maybe you're going to see their name everywhere. So that could be the case happening for some of you this week time. Can you forgive me? They would be asking for forgiveness as well. Let's see more cards here. <clears throat> what it has to add kisses and hugs and love so this person really wants to kiss you hug you and they want you to know that they love you good luck and abundance is about to enter in your life this week time be open to receive that and yep work on the things that i mentioned earlier so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if the reading resonated with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care Bye bye